record on this computer, share screen, desktop okay. two. Okay, folks, well, this is when we start. Um, so I'm no longer accepting any other homeworks up to now. So hopefully you already turned it in because they're one o'clock has passed. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Do you want to pass it? <laughs> She's out of breath. So, okay, here's the rules that I heard in grad school. I heard that if you show up late to a meeting, there's only two possible ways to show up to the meeting. Do you know what they are? Breath. Or Dying. with snacks. Ooh. Okay. You show up late to a meeting, you show up out of breath, which just means like doing this in the hallway right beforehand <laughs> or bringing snacks. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to jump right into the material today. Um, it's the last day. Uh, only a few of you have not, um, I guess everyone in here has done it, right? Eduardo, I need, I need your reservation. Thank you. What's that? Oh, look at these pockies. See, smart. <laughs> With snacks and out of breath, that's a double A. Okay. Um, so yeah, so there's some open spots, obviously. Um, we'll have the first one on, um, yeah, it's my birthday. Obviously, got to do it. Your birthday on Friday. Yeah, it's my birthday on Friday. Always is. Same day every year. <laughs> on Friday. On on the nineteenth. Oh, okay. I thought you said you always celebrate. Okay, so actually, technically, it's one minute late, so not acceptable. <laughs> Anyone else have anything? No, you. That's it. It's already past one. That's it, yeah, Kobe. It's so you should have been on time. You're two minutes late now. I was yelling in the hallway. I said one minute till everyone comes in. Okay, is your name not on here? Whose name is not on here? Just one? There's 11 of you. Oh, so that is 10. So who's missing? So Aaron, Alex. Rolando's, wait, who's missing? There's this guy. He's been in class with me for two years. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alex? Seven. Reads on the other page. So it's just Eduardo, right? Yes, ma'am. You're here. Am I bad at math? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Yeah, that's twelve. You can count yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And somehow <laughs> math ain't math, and someone's missing from here. Oh, Kobe's not on here. Kobe, nice. Did you make one? One thirty for which day? Monday. Oh, right, right, right. It's funny because we did have that conversation and then I immediately forgot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. It do be like that sometimes, though. <laughs> what? That's not true. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. They're not on YouTube, publicly available. Also, someone, I guess, like, pushed my YouTube channel to the algorithm. I was telling someone about this. There's, like, 150 views on Gas Giants. There's no reason for that. <laughs> I know it's not you. I think the longest the longest view is, like, two minutes. They're like, this is awful. I'm turning it off. <laughs> yeah, this is a lecture. I, don't, I didn't come to YouTube for school. Okay. Anything else? Oh, any Homeworks? <laughs> All right. Just like Paolo intended, this is how we'll end our slides. Fuck. What's that? Um, base, 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 base board. <laughs> That's a baseball? And what do you see here? Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. What's that? Path lines. Yeah. It's non-laminar. Non but also on the, on the outer part, it looks like it's... Here it's yeah. laminar, and then the... Turbulence. Where? Turbulence. Right here, right? Yeah. Anything else you see? A couple of eddies. Oh, yeah, you see some Ooh, eddies. some eddies. Okay, like some eddies. Yeah. You see you see it like as it kind of like spreads out um vertically, like 
What's that? I don't think it's no slip. Nobody. Where's the no slip condition? On the ball. On the ball. On the Good. Ball, the what is the, on the ball? What happens? Look at these lines. Has to go to zero. They stick. Yeah. These lines are stuck to the ball, right? I mean, obviously this is an instant and it's going to change. Um, look at this piece. Thumbs up. And then what is this one? This is the boundary layer, right? Mm -hmm. And what kind of boundary layer is this? It's a turbulent boundary layer because there's not lemonade in there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Lemonade. Like lemonade. Mm. And then you see like the turbulence created by the ball impacts other kind of parts above that never interact with the ball. Exactly, right. So in the turbulent way, you see a cascade, mm -hmm. right? And so you see there's like a ripple. A wave that's propagating backwards. So very good eyes. Mm -hmm. Anything else? You're prepared to do this type of thing if this happens on the exam? Exactly. Yes or no? Yes. It yes, is. I am. It's not an exam. Yeah. Final check-in. Yes. You know it's an exam. Okay. Um, so all the homework is now due. You've already turned it in. Um, 11 of you. Oops, I should have changed that. Wait, 12? No. 11? So just three that I'm missing, one of which has a baby, so he's excused. Okay. Um, I assume he isn't actually contacting me to tell that it's named after me. That's fine. Um, okay, so if you, you know that, right? Yeah, you don't want an F. No one wants an F. Okay, um, I'm going to ask you to demonstrate your understanding of the content. Um, some people will be first, some people will be last. You may think to yourself, oh, it's great that I'm last. Um, that will give me time to ask other people what happened. That is not the case. You don't know what you will get. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, for the bringing any code in progress, do we just like get our own laptop and just have the code like just flat out right there? Or we... Sure. Yeah, whatever is easiest. Okay. You know? You want to print a screenshot? That's fine too. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. Write it down. Okay. Any questions? Check ins will all be in person. Need you not to be able to access any notes. You can bring paper, empty. You can bring a pencil, but I also have a chalkboard in there. Okay. I'm just saying you can bring it. You will, you will. What you write down, you will write down on paper that I provide. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But if you decide that you want to like write stuff down on your own, you're welcome to do that as well. You may not leave with any paper. Does that make sense? Okay. Questions, comments, concerns? No. Okay. Um, all right, last one. Who's first? Oh, these are all. Yeah, it means you have to do two. You just can't do the ones that are struck out. These ones are done, done. Yeah, Rolando. I think first on the gun every time. Not, no, I think we've already done the breath by solo frequency. Okay, so what does it mean? The so breath by solo frequency is the, the frequency that occurs when um, uh, at the gravity waves, and the gravity waves are when two fluid mediums like interact at like a boundary. And um, when they interact and then just like, you know, balance out between like buoyancy and like gravitational force, um, the, wave, the wave created has the frequency of the front by solar frequency. Okay. Um, you're in the right ballpark. Okay. Definitely does have to do the gravity waves. Doesn't have to have two mediums, Okay. right? You can have internal gravity waves. And you'll recall that the brunt by solar frequency can be the maximum frequency, but you can have waves that are smaller than the Bronx 5 solid frequency, especially if they're not in the propagation direction, right? So you can have waves like this that are partially back and forth or like that. And if they're purely up and down, then they'll maximally be at N. Okay, thank you. You okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Keep it together. <laughs> okay, Rolando, you're done for the year. Let's go. Jose. Okay. Yep. Anyone want to add to that? Okay. Anything else? It does do one more.
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we can actually we can go around again if you want to be left with, you know. Okay. All right. Someone else can go. Yeah. It tells us um, how momentum, the vibration momentum, and the different ways the momentum can change. Very good. Better go again, or you want to wait? Um, All right, he's ready. Okay, that's his favorite. <laughs> um, it's a condition where. The condition where, like, a uh, object is in the air. Like the air, not the velocity will not be more than zero at the value at the surface mm -hmm. of the object. Good. Relative velocity, right? Yeah. Because the object can be moving. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Jose? Convection would be the movement um, because due to the change in temperature. Okay. You have any more for that? Um, where as the temperature heats up, it will eventually cool down and then move back down and then heat up and it kind of does that circular motion. Okay, so up and down is the important one here. Doesn't always have to be circular because you can have convection like this, right? And in fact, in a lot of ways, it'll fall right back down next to where it was going up. So you do have something like an elongated circle, but it's the important is the up-down motion, right? That's the convective motion. All right, good. <clears throat> Toby and Jose are done. Coriolis force? Yeah. Force felt by a partial fluid traveling at a velocity in another certain frame. Mm -hmm. Cool. Anything to add to that, Aaron? You want to do go a second time or? Compressible. Compressible fluid is a fluid that's density can increase. Mm hmm. Cool. You had your hand open? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, all right. All right, coming back for the second one. I think you already answered that, so I don't know if you get to do that again. <laughs> he answered it the first time, and then we did someone else answering it, and you can't, I don't think you can go a third time on it. <laughs> okay. Caloric equation, let's go. Okay. Uh huh. Sure, either one. Dependent on shear, how? Stop it. <laughs> Anyone want to help him? John? Uh, so it's not that it's dependent, it will be uh, continuous linear viscosity. Yeah. Um, so regardless of like shear or stress, or stress, you're going to have a continuous viscosity. Yeah, and the important part is the linear part there, right? So if the relationship between the forces and the deformation is nonlinear, then it's a non-Newtonian fluid. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Those are those are certainly a form of gravity wave. But what makes it a gravity wave as opposed to just an interface wave? When we think of the word gravity wave, what two forces are at odds, creating the wave itself? Gravity, good. <laughs> Got half of it. And? And wave, no. <laughs> and? Buoyancy, right? So the fact that it's lighter than its surrounding makes it go back up. That's the buoyancy force. Another way of thinking about this is, is a pressure force, which is related to the density, right? It's different than the gravity force. So gravity pulls you down, buoyancy restores you. Does that make sense?
Good. So that's one of them. You want to go again quick or do you want to pass? Isentropic. Okay. Waiting for people to get to the ices. Very good. All right. Who's up next? Reynolds number. What's the Reynolds number? Good. What's an example of a Reynolds number that shows that transition? Oh my God. Got to memorize these numbers. Yeah, it's in the thousands, somewhere between like 2,000 and 50,000. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Does that make sense? Okay. Another one? Okay. Who's up next? Done. What is the continuity equation? Source of some sort or a sink. Of mass. Of mass. Okay. You said all the right words. Okay. Is there any modification that is necessary to what he said? There is no source of think. That's fine. But but the way that you phrased the two terms that you talked about. One of them was eat more, right? And you said this was get fat. But this is not getting fat. Oh, right. This is getting fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is eating more or uh, throwing up the food, right? And then you shrink. So we said the two terms are interplaying. One is a time rate of change of the density that's only due to advective motions of the fluid. That's right. Right? <laughs> Right. Okay, next. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I was wondering when someone was going to go there. There's two up here. Okay, scale height describes what? How far do you move away from it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's mostly there. So we're talking about this, right? <clears throat> so this is density is a function of altitude, and it's decreasing. Right? And how does it decrease? Yeah, what's the function in an atmosphere? It's a... Uh... It's the, it's like a ratio of something in the exponent. It's an exponent. Yeah. It's, it's uh, is it z over h? Z over? Negative. What's h mean? Uh, natural. Jasmine, what's h mean? Yeah. It's a good question. Thanks. Yes. That's why I posted. Yeah. yeah. Anyone know? What's that? It is the scale height. Okay. That's why we're, that's why we brought it up. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, this is the scale height. I didn't spell that right, I think, but we'll find out. Is that right? It looks awful. You killed it. Oh wow. I don't like I's and E's. They should be one letter. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Yeah. Okay. So this is the scale height. And in an atmosphere that's under hydrostatic equilibrium, which most atmospheres are, 
This is how things like the density will change. So rho will be like that. Okay. Similarly with temperature and density and everything else. Okay. All right. Next. Yeah. Boundary layer. Boundary layer. What's a boundary layer? Would you rather say like uh, like the top limit with water in it, like below, like right at the bottom? That's a question. Yeah. What about the, the that layer at the bottom that's coming into contact with the pot? Yeah, true. You want to add to that? I wanted to add on. Um, you have to treat that specific boundary layer of fluid significantly different than like the one that you're talking about. And when we do it computationally, you'll see that we just just set them. <laughs> we, don't, we don't even do the physics there. We just let it be what it is, right? Okay. Anyone else? Who's left? I see a few of you. Yeah, Reed? Mm -hmm. Right, and does it tell you anything about the system? Yeah, it's like a ratio of important numbers, right, in the physical problem, which tell you about the physics to, to consider, right? So the dimensionless number, for example, we talked about it being larger or smaller than, say, 2,000, tells you something important about the fluid itself. Right. So even though you can combine those right numbers in different ways. So, for example, blood on large scales looks different than blood on small scales. Right. So blood for uh, an amoeba is laminar. Blood for us is turbulent. Right. Spraying in your face, it's turbulent. Right. Okay. Want to go again? Who, who's ready? No, no, no. Blood spraying in our face, like blood, like coming out of a person would be turbulent. <laughs> what? No, yeah. Think about the scale of an amoeba. <clears throat> this it, for an amoeba, there's a huge tube that it's in, the giant channel, and all blood would be very laminar. Relative to that. But as it comes out of a little hole from your friend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. I forget the first topic to credit that the pressure stays the same or pressure is the only thing that gets you. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Are either of those right? No, neither of those are right. <laughs> this is how we learn. Yeah. That only the pressure changes or only the pressure goes to change. No. He's looking in this section. Isons, iso, iso, iso bearing, iso bearing, iso volumetric, okay, isothermal. That's not what bear means. Which, yes, okay. Which are not functional, right? Pressure and temperature are functions only of one another and not of temperature. Okay. I'm going to call that one a committee. Call that like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Path lines. What are path lines? Yep. Yep. That's correct. Are we going to cross them all out today? Or... I don't know. We, we still have a few more people. Someone could still pick similarity solution and not have to go twice. Oh. What do you mean, guess it? You know what it means, right? You know what it means. <laughs>
<laughs> We're not guessing here. What's an example of a similarity solution? Uh, if one you already have the solution to the problem, then you are uh, are able to uh, just use that as a base for solution. Okay, <laughs> I like using the words. That's a good effort. So that's the word similar solution, yes. right? So like, we'll just cover that up and that is the definition for what you said, but it's not the definition for that. Didn't you do one on the board? Where we did do one on the board. In fact, we have seen similarity solutions before. Why are they useful? <laughs> no, that's not the definition. <laughs> that is not the definition. So hold on, listen to what Andrew is saying. So what would it, what do we do over here? Kind of a situation where like there's a uniform fluid and then the plate on the bottom moves and drags the fluid along at the bottom to the no slip. Yeah. But then the solution at a small scale looks the same as if you zoomed it out. Right. So the solution looks similar to itself, not to other solutions. A similarity solution is one that is consistently the same as you zoom out or in. Therefore, telling us that, in fact, of have, instead of having, say, maybe two or three dimensions that are independent, there may only be one or two, that the dimensionality can be collapsed, making it a much easier to solve. Simone? Yeah. There's like a plate and the fluid. You want, you want a different example? Uh, other than zooming in, zooming out is hard, right? Because usually they have some correlation between space and time. So like you can look at similarity solutions for supernova explosion. So supernova explosion at the beginning looks very similar to supernova explosion near the end because it's just exploding on a scale. So you can think of it as like a pressure front that's moving forward, but really it looks the same in time. The only thing that's changing is all of these things are scaling down, right? Is that a better idea? Okay. Yeah. I think people want to add to that. Who's left? John? Okay, sure. Yeah. Is that weird? Sorry. No, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> this is, I mean, a form of condensation, evaporation. It's okay. Yeah. Giselle? Sure, hitting water. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what does it mean? I mean, so shearing means what exactly? Well, yeah, like some motion that's going like this, while like the rest of your body is probably not matching that. Mm -hmm. That's causing, uh, I guess, that, that type of stress. Yeah, so you can think about the earth as a liquid on really long time scales. Fucking annoying, I know, right? <laughs> so <laughs> you have two different types of transform, you have different types of faults, right? You have this one, which is what? What? Compressional fault. And what's an example of a compressional fault? Yeah, yeah. Which one? We have to be specific because some mountains are not formed by compressional faults. What? The Himalayas. The Himalayas are the most famous form of compressional fault. Rockies are not. It's the other one. 
Well, Rockies are just rebounding. They're just they're just heavy or they're just light and they're buoyantly moving through the top of the um magma. Okay, so what is this? Hold on, hold on. So what is this? Yeah, that's a that's a slip bolt or a transfer bolt or a shear. Right? So it's relative motion between two objects that creates forces. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And so what's our, yeah. So the example would be the one in our backyard is the transfer fault. What's this? What? Subduction. Yeah. Subduction. What's an example of the mountains that are created? Mountains. Famous mountains. Famous. Uh, Cascades, yes, but fam more famous are. No, it's not a mountain. It's literally a canyon. It's right in the name. <laughs> what? No. The Andes. Okay, the Andes are an enormous strip where one is going under the other. Just wall of mountains from right out of the ocean. Okay, everyone done? Who escaped their second time? Did you do two? All right. Reed, did you do two? Okay. All right. So we were talking about this, right? Does anyone remember? Yes. Okay. So just to clarify, everyone check in. Okay. What's that? Okay. Okay, so we were doing this, right? We wrote the momentum equation. People remember this or no? We took the divergence of the momentum equation. And did you do that? You finished lecture, you were like, you know what? I should really make sure that I understand what happened. So you went and you took the divergence of the momentum equation, right? Okay, so let's see it. Toby, put it on the wall. <laughs> no? Why would you lie then? Sarcasm? I don't even know where that is. Okay. Where's M? M momentum. No. No. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like MX? Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's U times Del over Del X. Maybe we'll, let's, let's go ahead and make, simplify our lives a little bit. Better. Oh, very good. I'm just going to do this. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then what? Uh, uh, plus. E, e, y. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, no. We, it's a kinematic. Um, Is that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought it was a viscosity. Don't put it in the probably already. What's the Equal that, yep. Oh, that's weird. Right, e plus, um, yeah, yeah that, that one, that's got to be plus you. And then yeah. my, all that goes away in a week, though. Is there a G on this one? Not in that one. Yeah, no, no, no. No, there's not in the X is there momentum in the X term created by gravity? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
but instead the other thing is the thing. Oh, and the T term, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus T alpha delta T. That's a coefficient of thermal expansion. Okay. You're yeah. Your cap yeah, yeah, yeah. We can use cap that, okay. It is losing kind of my head. I got the line of time. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so then what do we do? Okay, take the divergence. What's the difference? Oh, the difference between divergence and gradient? Yeah. The gradient just says the. Uh, uh, no, it's not it. Say it one more time. No, it's like. Gradient is in the scalar? Yeah. Um, yeah. This on a vector is the. Okay. Okay, and this means that um, yeah, yes, um, that yeah, one got F. You did it right, so show me this part. Someone writes this part on that board, and someone writes this part on that board. Yeah, I'll be on the board. Got it. No, no, hold on, hold on. To work on it first, whoever's first gets to go up. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Did we do this already? Yeah. Well, like, we did. We did. We did. We did part of it. I I skipped past it, so I want to make sure you actually do it. Yeah. Because I'll need that equation. Because we're gonna put it into the computer. If I don't have that equation, then I'm just screwed. There's no way that I could possibly know what to do. <laughs> you can uh, you can pull the view and then double pop out in front and then D D Y. That is right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, because it's one's a space term and one's a little thing. It's okay. Don't look. Look down, look down, don't look. No. <laughs> Why you make me think of this stuff? I don't want to. <laughs> uh, the gradient of the the cell cell gradient of the gradient of the gradient of the gradient of the where it's like the negative view. You can take the derivative of the two. The two depends on the place. Like it's going be different in the area. Oh, so it'll be like a DT over two R. Oh, because the temperature yeah. will change yeah. between the temperature. Oh, and well, okay. Yeah. The G and the alpha. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The alpha is just a constant. So we can't rely on the No. And that's what I got. I'm just going to go up there. The water, are you doing it? Do you want to do it? On the board. On the board. What are you fucking thinking I'm going to do? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't fucking know this shit. <laughs> you, uh, what, what you did. I forgot. Oh, I am. Where's the little chalkboard? I don't like holding this. You know, whatever. Uh, it's not here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't can't fucking bother about it. Um, so I was up. Uh, he's gonna. He's I have mine. No, it's gonna it's start right. right. It's, not it's, not it's not what it looks like. Right. 
You both doing one, right? Come on. Come on, come on John. Let's go. Extra credit for writing on the board. Whoever writes on whoever writes the other one on the board gets the extra credit. Oh, can you sit for I'm yeah. just gonna be right. You gotta write it right. Yeah, everyone helps, right? You know what? This is not this is not right, but it's at least something. I wrote something. Do it. Here we go. Wait, did everyone turn in sodies? No, no. Some people did it, so fine who did it. But here's the thing: the people who didn't turn in sodies bravely came forward. Oh, okay. And they said, "Can I just take the the hit?" And I said, "Not only for taking the responsibility, everyone else will get the the bonus." Let's go. But also, since they weren't dishonest, they also got the. Bonus. Oh, that's nice. Yay. Just extra credit. And the other one had a baby, so I I yeah. thought about it. Okay. <laughs> Quick, tell just yell at me if I'm doing it wrong. Uh, we're taking we're taking that we're taking that. I don't know, but it's it's a little different. Okay. Just start it. This is hard. Here, I'll just do this. Where did I leave off? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, you're gonna use yeah. it like that. So yeah. Use my fun new. Yeah. And. Oh no, I wrote it wrong. That's T. Right? You're using two different notations. Uh, uh, you fine. Can, you can interchange this shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's what we want because we want to get rid of this, right? Oh, um, am I gonna am I just gonna do this then? Yeah. 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 Should it be yeah, yeah. Like that? That is the first term. That's the first term. Awesome. We're good. Now you're gonna use chain rule on this one. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> so let's just do, let's do. Yeah. You. Okay. And it was X. Yeah. X. Oh, but also you. Yeah. Just kidding. Okay. So, uh, 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 uh we'll do this. But now if this is DX, oh God. Yeah, this is going to suck. Can't we? No, we can't do that. Hang on. Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a minute to think about this one. <laughs> if we have that, I'm trying to think Is about it. Right? Oh, God. Super Let's see what he Maybe did. Not. I, I, that was part of the section that I did on Monday. Yeah. Can't treat it like a concept. Yes. Yeah. DXU? DXU. The first DXU. 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 DXU squared. Help them. Yeah. The faster we do this, the faster we can get to boiling water. Yeah. Like this. Like this. I see what you're saying. You're saying DX? No. Um, I think it, honestly, I think it's not that. Oh, the what? Parentheses. 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 DX? You. Oh. Close parentheses. Oh, it's like D, D, U over D, N. Okay, no, in the second term. Like Let's go through term by term. This U. term? Plus you. No, no, no. Literally, it's not good. Plus you. This one? Plus you. This term? DX squared. I like it. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, it is. This term? I like you. Yeah. This year. Good. This term? That's that term. I don't like that at all, like one bit. Okay, that was that was and what you get on the next term. I mean that I'm looking at okay. All right. I think so. Yeah. It's B. B D Y U. Okay, so D. The same thing. Why are there four terms? Because chain rule. Oh, it's chain rule. That's right. Now you okay. why you. There's too many terms. Yeah. There are. That's oh, you. I just you, Help right? Them. There's, there's, one, there's four terms in okay. this chain rule, and I don't want them. The X, the this the needs to be less terms. And then leaving the allowed. Yeah. You give another. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then the X, D, Y, everything yeah. is the Oh, wait. You're doing, sorry, you're doing both, right? That's the last Jesus okay. Christ. The okay. first one is equal to Y. Oh, maybe I'm looking at this one. It might be right. It might be right. Yep. Yeah. That's a negative word promise. And then just DDX. Yeah, squared? Thing. Yeah. It's like the X squared. Oh, you're talking about John. Yeah. Oh, do I suck? He's not helping. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. These, these are just slightly <laughs> in the wrong order. Right. That's, right. That's okay. You're helping. You're great. You're, you're doing fine. New, new and Dale Squared. Yeah. Of the yeah. New Dale Squared. New. Okay. Dale Squared. Yeah. It's like, um, if you do find That's it. Walk. And like the new and that is like general. We're going to walk away now. This is a team effort. I'm not taking this full credit. So this not. one, right. this one, oh. trash, trash. Okay. No, this one, no, no. one, <laughs> two, three, four. Good. Are these right though? Mm -hmm. we this is right. This one. Is it right? No. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! But that this one is it. messy. Okay. So the problem here is that this one's right. Yeah. This one's right. This one's right. This one's right. This one is I, what you. I don't. Dx dy dv. Okay, so this one's good, right? That's okay. you want that one, right? Yeah. Okay. What about this one? D dx d u dx d dv dx dy d u d y. That's changing. That's right, but is this on these or are these like that? Like that. Um, like that. <laughs> 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 okay. That's okay. Look at this one. Yeah. We like that one. We like that. One. Yes. This one. That one looks like this one, right? Yeah. I'm liking it. <laughs> I think it's like second turn. Mm -hmm. Or the third turn. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh this one is like the DX DY, which is similar to what you have, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it right? It looks okay. It looks safe. Oh, yes. It looks safe. I like it. My work. <laughs> I like it because it's my it work. It should be 2B. It should be It should be It should be It should be DVDY. DVDY and DVDY. Yeah. Hmm. But this is that's not the same. That's B. I think we have B, one B, extra term. B, D squared Y. And this should be D. This should be D. Oh. The second term is just 2B. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Is this one right? Can we fix it? I like it. I think it's a singular. Confidently like it. I'm going to run away now. Yeah. That's the first U, D, X, D. Um, get so it should be D U D Y D S D D and then it should be U D X D Y D U D X D Y D. That's right. That one's right. So right? That one should be D U D Y D S D D. D V D S. D V D S. Oh, so that's right. All right. What's going? That's so good. Okay, give yourself a round of applause. All right, extra credit points for Rolando and John. For having the major credit, honestly. And he didn't get up. Oh, he did not stand up. Didn't stand up. You don't stand up. You have to be in front of the, you know, everyone's sweating under their shirts, you know. If you're sitting down, you feel comfortable. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. Um. So let's add these terms together then. Let's look at just the DT terms. Okay. So remember that we're adding this to that. And we're going to add them term by term. So by definition, del dot m is going to be here, dt dxu plus dt dy v. And this is the same as dt of dxu plus dy v. Yeah, can't you use the function equation? Oh no, sorry, delta delta. Which is which is gone. Oh, oh okay, that delta yeah. u and that equals zero. Yeah. Continuity <laughs> equation, so on and so forth. Blah 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 blah. Okay, good. All right. Next.
Got to add a whole bunch of terms together, right? Oh. You don't want to do it? Extra credit? I'll figure it out. Like, 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 yeah. It looks fun. It was like five minutes less. Like, five minutes less, <laughs> honestly? Yeah. Okay. All right, look at Let's go back and do it. Are you just rerunning your own thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you can do it again. What are you doing? I don't like your own thing. All right, I rerunning your own thing. Oh, okay. Hmm. Start here. Oh, I see. What? You forgot a U at the end of the Oh. There it is. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. B. That's a lot of terms. What's, what's the light side? We're not done. It's not equal to anything yet. I'm just collecting terms. So this is just collected, right? Mm -hmm. And now it equals zero. So I'm going to try and look good. If this use my brains to see if I make easy. Mm -hmm. What's all that on the This is zero. Oh, because you want to see that the data Yeah, because those are all time derivatives in the very like everything that bracketed. Well, it's going to equal zero, so it's, it, it doesn't matter because you can change, change in x over time. Change in zero over time is equals to zero. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This one? And then it DXV, DYU. And there's another one where? Uh, here. Okay. So this becomes friends with this. Two. Yeah. Are we combining like the X and Y and they will approximate? I don't know. What am I trying to do here? Why did I take the divergence of this? Because we wanted to we wanted to relate it to P, right? We wanted to relate We wanted to find P, right? Mm -hmm. And we wanted to relate P to what values? No T's present. It's a little bit of a T, but not really. U and V? U and V were the things we wanted to relate it to. Because we're going to do a predictor-corrector technique. We're going to upgrade the velocity. Then we're going to predict what the pressure should be. And then we're going to correct those upgraded velocities with the correct pressure. Right? Just like an RK forward or an RK2. Okay? So here, I'm trying to simplify this very, very complicated thing. And I already showed you, you can take advantage of this bad boy right here. Can I do that again? Two squared boys that we put together. Yeah, so squared and the yeah. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So is a squared plus b squared equal to a plus b squared? Uh, no. No, but can't we can't we do like a uh, uh, different squares. Something that takes us two center terms. Yeah, something to do with the two center terms, huh? Interesting. Yeah. Oh, we can do something like that, maybe. That could be worse. Okay, so I got a dx of dyu and a dx dyv. Does that help me? Yeah, that's not anything like that before. <laughs> I don't know if we're allowed to like. Well, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, so we want these to cancel each other out. That's the goal. So is this right? Let's look. Which one is that? That's uh, this one. Okay, and then the other one. That's right. We're just double checking. Yeah, it looks good to me. Oh, that's not it. This. Yeah, you're going to have a bunch of simplifying terms. What about these guys? We like these? What's a different way to write this? Can that help us? Yeah, you can. You can factor out u dx from the u dx dyv. Ah, uh, this one here is paired with this one here, right? And those are zero. How would that turn it up? How would it be one? Use it out. Yeah, so look, it's u dx operating on dx u plus dy v. And that is, by definition, zero. Oh, ah, math. math is mathing. So then you have to be able to do it with the other one, right? Yeah. OK, good. Nice. And which one is it? Um, Gorgeous. Okay. okay, so what does that leave us with? Yeah. How is that equal to zero? Because I crossed it out. Because <laughs> I crossed it out. Okay, so here's how we want to look at it. Ready? This was u dx squared u, but it's really the same as u dx dx u. So u dx is the same as the front of this, which was u dx dy. So what I did is I put those two terms in the same area and I factored out the u dx so that it's this on this one plus this on this one. But the interior here is by definition this thing here, which I already said was zero. So notice that this is this, which is zero. And so anything I do to zero is always still gonna be zero. Unless I add to it, but I'm not. Right? Okay. So that means I can get rid of the terms that I don't like. So this simplifies. So on the left hand side, I have something really straightforward. I have uh, what terms survived that slaughtered? 
What's that? Uh, so All the, the stuff on the right side. The right hand side, yeah. Right. And the right side is added together, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what does that look like? Um, uh, so let's write those down. Wouldn't that hold on, hold on. Let's write them down. Let's write them down. The correct one. That was correct for the right hand side. Yeah, that was correct. Well, for the rest of the day, what? That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Fell asleep? That was pretty good. Okay, so what do you do? Maybe you try to consult the phone numbers? Uh, make the uh, first two until it's not there. Correct. So this okay. becomes negative one over row, um, with loss in row B. <laughs> and you can do another Laplace, you know, then you can cancel those next two terms with the same method here. Ah, so yeah. these two terms here are really. I keep wanting to do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. See you later. Sayonara. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. All yeah, right. You want the whole week back? Robus class. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I wanted y'all to be up there. Yeah. I'm harder. It's an old. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do we got here? Maybe one over round. Box two. Minus B kappa B Y P. Cool. Nice. He, he was all we want to solve for the Laplacian here, right? Okay, so now we want to write this as a Laplacian. Okay? Yeah. We want to write something like this. Okay. So everything just gets moved over. That seems like that can be the. Uh, <laughs> There's no way to that. What? Sorry. <laughs> I think I've seen that right. Oh, B. 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 Oh
Very good. Okay, so what does this mean? Oh, we related the, the pressure to in terms of Right. We, we related the pressure to terms only having to do with changes in the velocity and the temperature. Changes in the temperature. So if the temperature is uniform everywhere, this does not contribute. What is this term known as? Um, in terms of momentum? Wait. The temperature buoyancy. buoyancy. Yeah. This is our buoyancy term, mm -hmm. right? If you look at it, right, G delta T is really having to do with the change in the, the density, right? If the temperature is slightly different there, you're either going to go up or you're going to go down. So I'm just talking about the fluid. I think itself is being differently buoyant than the fluid. There's no balloon. It's the fluid itself that's buoyant, right? So that's this. And then you have these weird pieces in here, which don't have anywhere as close to an intuitive sense. But they physically mean that the fluid velocity is changing the fluid velocity, right? With respect to different directions, mm -hmm. right? Compressibility of V, the compressibility of X, and these sort of off terms, so to speak, of that same, oh, sorry, V and V, and right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is setting up our pressure potential. So this is saying the pressures in the um, velocity are coming from squishing the fluid. So the fluid is pressing, right? These are the most uh, intuitive ways to think about these ones here as related to this. This one is not so intuitive. That's like a shearing one. But this piece here is like compressing the fluid and therefore providing a pressure. Kind of see that? Okay. That's why we did it. <laughs> okay. So here's the code. <clears throat> Ta-da! Um, it's not right. It won't even work. So I posted it already. I posted it yesterday, but no one saw it. Um, and so what you can do is you can go through and you can add in the things that I'm going to describe to you right now. So you'll need to do all the things that we talked about. I called it alpha. alpha. We can call it kappa again. I don't give a shit. Um, and these things, you just name whatever you want. You have the viscosity of the fluid. You have the surface acceleration, which of course is 10 because we're physicists, right? We're not engineers. <laughs> Boo on engineering, okay? And alpha is 0.2 because I decided it was, right? Okay. Um, you're going to have this thing, max iteration. Why do I need max iterations? So you can stop. All oh, for, um, what would you like to do? Okay. Um, I'm bad at spelling, so there will be spelling errors. Okay. Set up the boundary conditions. The top has no temperature. The bottom has temperature. The bottom has no velocity. The top has no velocity. I initialize the velocity fields. There's zero everywhere. We can change that. We can decide later on that maybe we want to set uh, random temperatures or random velocities and see how they evolve. That's totally okay. You can fuck with that if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to have different um, definitions. So I put them in here and we're going to talk about how the velocity update goes because this is the most important part. Okay. You copy over an intermediate velocity field. U is copied. I call it U star, like an intermediary. And that way I can make changes to U star without changing U. Okay? And I'm going to use U star to figure out my pressure. And then I'll use my pressure to update my U. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Okay. So first the objective terms. And you can go through and you can determine whether that's true. Okay. Advection is straightforward. The diffusion terms, that's also straightforward. Except for the major difference here is instead of being the difference between one and two, it's one minus the one in the middle times two plus the one on the end. Right? You remember that in the finite difference scheme? Yeah. Okay. And then there's a thermal buoyancy force, but it only applies to the y. The y. So V star is the only one that has this. Okay. That's easy. That's the momentum equation, right? Okay, so then I updated this. I copy over. Remember that P and capital P are different things because Python knows the difference in capitalization. So I copy it over. And I have just copied this exactly from when we did simple over relaxation for your um, earlier fluids problem. And all of this here 
Ugh, come on, is incorrect. What? It needs, to be that. it needs to be that, right? So to solve this, this is very straightforward. We can use the gauss seidel method and we can have that beta that we turned like we did in the earlier problem. But these choices in here have to match that, right? Which is why we wrote it up there, okay? You can also create arrays of them. I don't necessarily care, either one, okay? Then you impose the boundary conditions and you ask, okay, uh, what's the major difference between this one and the one that I just did? And if you're close enough for what I care about, then you're done. What was it? What was it? I don't want to say that. Okay, okay, all right. You just got up when I was just... All right, so then you find um, the final velocity field using projections. So you start with wherever you were, and you add dt over rho times the pressure gradient. So this is the pressure gradient term. Does that make sense? Okay, let's look at it again. Okay, here is dt of u. I put all of these terms on that side so that I could use Euler's equation and step forward one step at a time, one, two, three. Then to find out what my next one was, I first computed the advective terms. I added to them the diffusive terms. Then I predicted the pressure terms. I haven't added this yet. And then I add the pressure term to this update. Uh, okay <laughs> that's it and it returns updated v u and p and then the temperature update now that you know how to do that is super straightforward right oh my gosh Oh, Boys yeah. and girls. We have it. We have it. Remember? It was uh, ah, the over the, 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 the. What is that thing? Uh, the, the bottom equation? Or... Yeah, what is that thing? Whatever. <laughs> Advection and diffusion of heat, which you've done before or never been done before? Is that the code of it? Nope. Is that the next code? You have the code of it already, but you were doing nothing. You were advecting and, and diffusing nothing, remember? I called it bananas. Mm -hmm. So now you have a meaning for it. Now you call it something T. So just copy that code right over. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, some of it builds on itself. Okay. So let's go back for a second here. <clears throat> so I add that little chunky boy right in here. Chunk, blink, and then boop, updates. One step. Do not do the whole time thing, just one step. Okay. Then you have the time thing. Okay. Update the velocity, update the temperature. I don't care which order you do this in. You can switch them. It doesn't bother me. Apply the boundary conditions. And if you want to, you can plot it. Okay. And then advance the simulation. It's easy peasy, right? All types of lemon, yeah. This is not a problem. Not a homework. This is just for you to to see if you understand what you've done. Okay. Maybe it's in the final. We'll see. <laughs> Questions. I don't see how to interpret the, the temperature equation. Which one? Uh, the you know, heat temperature will be the bus, uh, uh, you know, the, the U vector minus uh, divergence of heat. This one? <clears throat> what do you mean? <clears throat> how do you open it? Um, so this is, this is the same equation that you you did in um, your code, 610, yeah. right? So you update this part here with a um, Euler equation. You solve this piece here. 
right? With the Poisson equation, right? And then you have this piece. Comes along to the right. Right? This is just u times the gradient of t. So the way that I look at this is I say the change in te temperature with time is equal to, let's move this over, either temperature coming from a different part of the fluid that's hot or cold, or it's slipping through by diffusion. So that makes sense with convective term. Which one? The first term is convective term. Then. We don't call it convective, we call it advective. Even if it's convective. Uh, it's not always convection. Yep. So you can actually, and what you will play with here, if you if you do get this running and you care, I understand that people have lives and whatnot. Um, hold on. If you get this running, you will run into a situation where, oh, fuck. Okay. All of these weird parameters here can be played with. And what you can do is you have a viscosity of the fluid, you have a coefficient of thermal expansion, and wait, where's my, oh, I forgot to put it in here. There's a kinematic viscosity, um, which should be in here as well. Uh, oh, it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so when you play with these numbers and you change their values, you can get two different situations, right? Remember that we talked about the fluid looking like a box? like this, and there's going to be hot on the bottom and cold on the top. And sometimes it makes these little fingers, mm -hmm. but sometimes it just smoothly changes. And so sometimes you have convection and sometimes you do not. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, bye folks. What? It's been posted, yeah.